button. Like, comment, subscribe, share. You will notice that our boxes are already open. And we have to say that there was a little snafu where we didn't realize that the audio wasn't recording the whole video. There was a lot of good things that happened. And we are consummate professionals. Yep. But we will still do an unboxing. Uh, we're going to go through our boxes anyway we, to start with your uh, 3D terrain and your uh, paints that you normally get. Like inordinately excited during the original recording of this video because I got a full set, but four obelisks. And as we previously discovered in other streams, I like sets of things. I also got a, uh, another uh, 3D printed tent. Uh, this makes, I think, two or three for me, which is fantastic. These guys uh, can have uh, camps set up either for uh, their own camp or for anything they choose to like. I recently had them ambush like a camp of orcs and ogres in the forest. This would be fine. It's interesting for that. I got a uh, the Army Painter Wargame, Wargamer Insane Detail Brush. It is supremely tiny brush uh, for detail that surpasses regular sanity. As well as uh, three paints, Necromancer Cloak, uh, earth brown and intense brown. Uh, I've already called from the- Well, I will go with, I have two of those obelisks, which is pretty cool. And then I have these, uh, these really cool tables and benches. I have two of these. They're set up so where like, maybe you have a, like a tavern bra. They're right here. The if, I, if, I, if I recall, they were labeled as a tavern set. Yeah, it's a tavern set, tiny, yeah, tiny crate. Because the tiny chests are much smaller. Yes. And then I have a bearskin rug. So cool. Which goes great with my uh, with the bed that I have that I got from last month. Right. You can put it on the bed as like he's sleeping beneath hides, yeah. or it just it, it, it really pulls it, the room together. Yeah, I can put it right in front of it, make it look like it, it's an actual bedroom if they're sneaking in to kill somebody. The great thing because because of the way these this uh, 3D print was laid on, and you'll see it in the photos, is that it gives it like a like a like a furry texture because they did little islands worth of filament here and there and there and there. And it, it, mm -hmm. Rather than just being one flat thing. Yeah. And it gives, I mean, it's that little extra. It's got some depth. Yeah. And then of course the head. It, it'll paint up real nice too. Yeah. Do it like a, like a panda. Ooh. Ooh. And so. then my last one, <laughs> I have these two packs, or these two sets of logs. Firewood bundles. Firewood. Firewood. He's so. got wood. Yeah, I got many of it too. It's got two so, wood. But yeah, I have two of those. And those are actually pretty cool. So that's a, that's a nice little set dressing. But that is all for my set dressing. We will uh, start out then with uh, the one that did not come in the pack. I got a grung, a little toad like, a little toad or frog like humanoid creature, like a poison dart frog with a knife. I got this uh, another. Uh, Blood Drinker Vampire. I've got a couple of these now. Uh, once again, I like to have sets of things. I like to have more than one thing to... Uh, to In the end, this is all imagination and, and fun, and you can bring together what you want, but it's, it's nice to have uh, placeholders to really, like, bring things together. So I got another one of these. Uh, this one has some damage from the, uh, from the packaging, and she's been bent back a bit on her base. Should be an easy fix, and I believe we're going to have a video coming for that pretty soon about uh, how to... Myriad ways to do that. And yep. then uh, I got this precognitive mage. Another, I got, I've gotten one of these on stream before as well. I love the detail of the detail of the, uh, the runes in the, uh, the spell effect on the staff and down uh, is their cloak. Great detail on the eyes on this one. They're even, even the, uh, the, fr the, the chest piece is really, really ornately done. Like, yeah. Like they, did, they didn't, like, goop paint on and, like, block all the detail out. Uh, what I had in, uh, these were the, sing the single ones that I got. Mm. Uh, this was the Hellhound. So that was pretty cool to get. Um, I, then I have, uh, I looked this guy up, too. That's, it is a uh, Water Cult Warrior, 13 of 45. So and we talked about him. He has he has this nice little shield. It looks like maybe he's a horseshoe crab. He's got this uh, pretty wicked sword. Um, it's a little bent from packaging, of course. I mean, what do you expect? It's a thin, thin piece of sword. So, but again, that can be easily fixed. 
Easy fix. Yeah, you just break it off and you throw it out. Don't do that, folk. That's terrible. He's bad. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and then I got this pretty cool little guy. And I say little because it's a Windigo. Pretty kick ass. I mean, he, he's got that spectral kind of bottom to him where it looks like he's coming out of it, the spirit in, realm. In, in the intervening uh, week and a half since we've done this previous shoot, did you look up what a Wendigo was? Uh, yeah, I looked it up, and then I completely forgot because I have a horrible, horrible memory. So they're really, really cool, and a Wendigo is, is a spirit uh, legend from... You see it a lot in, like, cultures that developed in the frigid north, like, you know, Nordic cultures and such. A Wendigo is, is a is a spirit of a man that embraces cannibalism during times of hunger. Uh, during like isolation when, when people were snowed in and they were unable to get to food or into town and they ran out of supplies, the Wendigo would overtake a, would overtake a, uh, a person and they would like eat their family. Sounds like this guy. Friendly. Very friendly. But <laughs> he's got pretty kick-ass antlers, these long hands. I mean, he looks like a big bed that you can throw maybe level 5 between level 10. And if, I mean, depending on the level, you could just make a level twenty too. Yeah. I mean. I mean, dep yeah, depending on what your. Uh, it's essentially a, a, a corrupting spirit. So imagine, yeah. imagine it corrupting your barbarian, and your barbarian starts to attack your party. Yeah. I've got this uh, this chaos base uh, again. Now I just use them like a scatter terrain. Uh, I also got in the uh, the Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica boxing. I got. Um, I didn't bring it with me because it's currently sitting in a pile full of stuff from Game Night on Tuesday. Uh, I've got another Gruel Ogre photo, uh, so that makes two for me. And again, I like to have groups of things. I got another uh, Rubble Belt Stalker, the Lizard Man with a dagger lashed to his tail. This makes, I think, three for me. And unpainted, uh, and I believe that my mini, my paints came sorted for this guy, is another uh, Knoll Fighter. This one does not have any pack, uh, any damage in the packaging as my previous one did, but it's fine. Again, easy fix. But we'll go to my next batch, and I got this out of the uh, out of the uh, the box, the little booster pack. And I'll start off with I got the uh, same one that you had, the rubber belt stalker, little lizard man with a knife on his tail. Maybe looks like a dagger of some sort, and he's got a dagger in his hand. Pretty cool little guy to use for if you're... I think we've had this in previous boxes, too, but, I mean, you can use him as maybe a player character if you're running, like, an evil campaign or whatnot, or even if somebody has a lizard man and they're playing a rogue of some sort. Or a cleric. Or a cleric? All right, or a cleric. It's just I, a placeholder at that I did, point. I didn't do that for our, for our campaign at all. Oh, yeah, 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 you yeah. did. Because he was a lizard man, and it was the closest lizard man that we had for him. That's all I had so far. Yeah. Uh, next up, I have uh, a Crassus Medium. Now, you actually can see the, uh, the, the, this one and the next one on the side of these Ravnica boxes. So, but this here, this Crassus Medium, I mean, he's pretty cool looking. Four, four like crab-like legs. He's got like the, the shoulder pip there little armor he's got the the one like i would say maybe steel bracer maybe something like that yeah steel iron metal yeah. silver he's got this whole michael jackson thing going on <laughs> yep so i mean <laughs> you can even make that as the character's voice <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stop now before he gets sued by his estate yeah uh, when, when he says medium, uh, it's it's written in parentheses as it is the size of the crash is not like not like it's a it's a crassus diviner though it could be you don't know yeah because there's also that comes in the box is a larger crassus that uh, was it, like the sharky one the shark one or? yeah it looks yeah. totally meaner yeah <clears throat> uh, the next one I have is the indentured ser uh, indentured spirit I always say servant indentured spirit four of fifty five now he's pretty cool looking too I mean he's like a spectral kind of essence to him. I mean, he's kind of has his, his arms open wide, looking for a embracing hug. He's like, "Come hug me, I want to kill you." And then you know, he's got this little silver face, uh, silver trace. It looks like it's from the clothes that he's wearing. It might be just the edging on it, but you never really know. You, I mean, you can make a few things out of it. 
But, I mean, he, he looks like he's coming in for a nice little hug. That's always good. I like hugs. And now this. All right, so when we opened this up a week ago, this was amazing. And this was one of the ones where you get special in the booster pack that it's like that, you know, really cool reason why you buy the booster packs. This right here is a Night Veal Spectre. Now. What's it riding? I've, I actually forgot already. Gloomwing, was it? Yeah, I think it was a Gloomwing. Gloomwing? Is yeah. that what it is? Yeah. But looking this up, right? This Nightville Spectre is this little guy right here. So he's like in the book, he's a CR-10. Pretty dangerous, right? He's riding a CR-9. So you technically have a CR-20 little beast that you can throw at your players for them. And if they uh, play nice, you can play nice too. It's a Glowing. Glowing, yeah. It's like a CR-9 and it's a CR-10 dude on top. So. I mean, you literally have a CR, like a CR-20. I know it's CR-19, but usually when you combine uh, the CR levels, you actually have to add like a good like quarter. Yeah, because you're, you now have to fight. Yeah. It, it, you know, the, the action economy changes too. Yeah. Now you, now you have two things attacking you at a high level. Yep. So, and he would be pretty cool to throw at your, throw at your players. Now, I mean, I can find a way to throw it at my players, but hopefully... They don't watch this to see it, but I hope that they're watching it to, to watch, it. watch it and see what, how the channel's doing. So I we'll see how that goes. I them right now because I don't think your players have learned yet that you are not to be messed with. Yeah, I don't know. I I think I think one player has learned. I mean, he's almost died twice in two sessions. I mean, if he would have learned from the first time, he wouldn't have almost had the second time. Yeah, but I think he's learned now. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe we'll find out next week when he almost, when he almost dies for a third time. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> so, um, I, that's everything that I have. Is that everything you have? I do want to uh, give a quick shout out again because I, I raved about it for like a good five minutes in the last video that we didn't air. Uh, I want to thank Zach uh, for Magic Miniman. Your customer service is fantastic. I, I had ordered some other stuff through Magic Miniman, and uh, he sent me an email saying, you know, you, your, your mystery box is about to ship. I'm just going to package it all together for you, save you some shipping. Really appreciate that. Had a larger box than, uh, than the normal last time, but I didn't change my package or anything. I just got more stuff separately. Yep. But, Zach, thank you for the, for the great customer service. Uh, but anyway, if you're watching this, leave us a little comment if you love it. Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Tell us what you like. Tell us what you don't like. Just throw it out there. Any, uh, any variety of commentary, likes, dislikes, uh, verbal abuse, if you feel the need to do so towards Doug, not towards me. I'm fine. It's all Doug. Uh, it all helped uh, promote the channel and, and get uh, 5D1 Gaming's name out there. The only thing I want to do with these guys at the moment is the unboxing. I love to show off the cool stuff that comes in these boxes. I've been purchasing them for like a year now. I love the products. I've filled up uh, a, an organizer with, with minis. I need to get another one. Um, and that's the whole reason why I have actually have the Magic Mini Man boxes. You saw all my stuff. Mm -hmm. Also, one of our other players the other night uh, in the process also ordered one of their kits. Oh, yeah, yes, he did. Yeah, I don't remember which one he ordered. I think he ordered a regular one because he mentioned the price. Mm. And he said that it was like five dollars off, so I only well, paid well, thirty bucks. If it was painting or unpainting, because I know he used to. Oh like, yeah. He used to like to paint Warhammer. Oh okay. So I don't know. Anyway, we'll see. But we we we've, we've gotten you another subscription there, Zach. Appreciate it. Yep. Uh, if you want to give us a little uh, little right. click down there yeah. on the subscribe button, like, comment, subscribe, share. Yep. And if you want to hit the bell, we throw all these up at any time. Whenever we can, Whenever we can. <laughs> and we also have a uh, we have a weekly game that we play on Monday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern time on Twitch. If you just search up 5D1 Gaming, you will find us. Go ahead and hit a follow up on there. If you like to subscribe, get and subscribe. Uh, if you want to check out our videos, it's on the same channel, 5D1 Gaming on YouTube, and you will find. I think we're up to episode 28 right now. And we play every week. Uh, I think we took we took a break two weeks, two weeks ago, uh, and we did throw up some one shots. So we actually have three videos for one shots. 
So if you want to, go ahead and check us out. Leave comments. Leave us thumbs up. If you like the channel, just subscribe to us. That's even better. I mean, let us know how you guys feel about it. And uh, from here on out, I think we're good to go on these. What do you think? I think we're good. Uh, as far as extra content, uh, you like I said, we'll probably see a video coming up soon on mini care, how to, how to fix your, your, your bent plastic minis. Um, anything else you're planning on doing special that we can put together? Or no, for now? No. We'll Just how, how to not get a headache when you're a DM. I have figured that wrong. I, I don't know. I haven't either. I was kind of hoping you did. No. Uh, whiskey? <laughs> that doesn't help. It helps, helps in the time. But the, the whiskey kind of just dulls the pain. It doesn't relax it away. Is that right? I feel fine when, when, I'm, when I'm done. Oh, uh, okay. Next morning hurts, but that's whatever. But anyway. But anyway. We love you guys. Check out our videos. And if you love us, Shoot us some messages. We're on everything. So everything. we'll leave you with MySpace. Hope you have a good night, a good morning, Afternoon. a good evening. MySpace? Dirty Snapchat? I don't know. Eh. Premium Snapchat, rusty trombone. <laughs> eh. See you guys. <laughs>